Hello guys, thank you so much for taking the time to join me again and uh, welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, I'd like to say uh, a big thank you to all the new subscribers that have uh, taken the time to watch my videos and uh, comment. I really appreciate that. So uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, making a lot more content. Uh, it's really inspiring when people uh, sign up and take the time to watch and uh, comment. So thank you very much. I'd also like to apologize for a bit of delay in um, creating content for the channel. Uh, we've simply had uh, a bit of illness in the family, so I haven't been able to, uh, to get out and do more. But hopefully that's resolved now. And uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. So in the meantime, what I've been doing is winterizing the van. Uh, I've come up with a, a few ideas um, to hopefully um, keep me warm during the winter months. I plan on going up to Scotland very soon. So it's about uh, February the uh, 17th today. So I'm gonna head off to Scotland with a couple of very good mates, Mark and Rob. Uh, Rob Wall Photography and Mark Rivers um, yeah, for our annual photographic lads trip uh, try as much whiskey as we can type deal uh, which is always a great laugh um, yeah and hopefully next year February the 1st I would like to take a drive up to the top of Norway uh, so a bit of a, an arctic photographic expedition so with that in mind I've been winterizing the van so what I've done so far is I'll just spin you round. So on the control panel here, we've got the uh, Burek um, CD thermostat for the Chinese diesel heaters. Um, so that will keep a constant temperature um, during hopefully the very cold days, uh, both up in Scotland and uh, in the Arctic. And then below that, we've got uh, Therm Pro uh, indoor outdoor sensor with an outdoor sensor popped on the outside of the van um, so I've got an idea of uh, you know current temperatures inside and outside as well as humidity I've also installed the slaughterhouse customs uh, uh, indoor outdoor cab thermometer uh, which also reads the uh, battery voltage and gives you uh, just a basic clock as well but it's useful to have the outdoor um, temperature in the cab, which uh, being as this is a 2005 T5, I don't have, so that's always good. Uh, another project I've, I've been working on is sort of uh, internal insulation. Um, so although I've got these thermal curtains for the um, barn doors and the side doors here um, that's not much protection from from the cold so uh, looking around I haven't really been able to find um, very heavy duty um, thermal barriers for uh, uh, VW T5s they've got them for crafters and sprinters and things like that so I've kind of come up with my own so I'll grab it. So what I've done is uh, I've purchased um, a couple of Snug Pack XL thermal blankets, and then cut the shape of the rear aperture of the van. Um, and then uh, a good friend has sewn some webbing along uh, in the shape of the van and then at the moment I'm magnetizing them on I'll show you it um, fitted in a minute but I will put a curtain rail up so that this can then become um, so you can see the shape there for the aperture so this will become you know slideable like a normal curtain um, and the reason I chose the snug pack XL, not sponsored in any way by the way, uh, is the rainproof 
outer layer which is also ripstop so um, I can have that facing the outside which gives me some kind of protection when I open the back doors and also um, you know taking things in and out um, the chances of ripping it and damaging it are, are much less so yeah I've got that one for the rear I'll show you that fitted in a moment and then and then the normal curtain dividers that uh, everybody has, the cabin divider, um, uh, even the thermal ones are just basically um, relatively thick material um, but not insulated. What I've done is I've taken those thermal blinds and then sewed those with about an inch and a half, two inch overlap. I didn't sew them, a good friend did. Um, with a Velcro fastener in the middle. So again, ripstop facing inwards, uh, in and out with equipment and what have you. So that would be great. And I've kept the poppers so that I can attach them to the, the cabin as you normally would those thermal dividers. So I haven't actually tried these yet, so I'm gonna give them a go now. Um, fingers crossed they fit. Yeah, the reason behind choosing the snug packs, um, apart from the ripstop material, uh, is also, uh, it's much lighter and much more packable than the Reflectix. And when you're in a you know a VW T5 or a VW camper van, one of the small ones, uh, space is an absolute premium. So uh, being able to leave these up on the on the curtain rail and push the side with the curtain ties as as you normally would is fantastic. And again, the rear one uh, can just pack away in one of the the small apertures anywhere in the van. Um, which uh, is really helpful rather than the, the rolled reflectics which take a lot of space. So that was the idea behind it. Anyway, let's fit these and see what they look like. So that's those fitted. Let's see whether they actually uh, actually work. Let's flip the uh, passenger seat up and see what we got. Okay. Okay, so hopefully we've got crap. So, I think that works. So we've got it velcroed down the centre. We've got some 
space at the top there. So that works well. It's velcroed all the way down the centre, so that will give a nice barrier. I think I'll probably put a bit of Velcro up the top just to take up these, these areas here. Otherwise, I think that works well. I've left enough space down the bottom here to seal the air gap at the bottom. Got the diesel heater coming through there. So next question now I've got them up and they seem to be working well is um, do they tie back? Hope so. Right, let's give it a go. seems to work fine so yeah job done insulated divider um, that's a lot more substantial than your just your standard thermal curtains so yeah pleased with those so for the back at the moment like I say I'm just magnetizing it uh, Check that down the back. Some of these heavy duty magnets not to be left on when you're driving because they'll turn into a uh, projectile but then as I say I'm going to put a curtain rail along here and then do the same but for the moment you'll get the idea I'm going to pop that up there So yeah, as you can see, covers up the back aperture, right down to the floor, and the back door's shut. Should create a nice thermal barrier. Yeah, with the curtain rail along, that worked really well, which led me to think that actually, probably a good plan to pop a curtain rail up here and then create a barrier over the sliding door um, with a, a curtain hook here somewhere so that then I can bunch the curtains down there or a curtain down there which will then seal this whole area off um, giving me a nice sort of insulated cabin area for, for very uh, cold temperatures um, but it does mean that I need to, although I have got a hole in the floor, a gas hole, which I leave open all the time. Um, but I will put a, possibly a dome fan, uh, maxi fan, dome fan, uh, in the ceiling, just to give a bit of ventilation. Being a landscape photographer and running my own photographic business, uh, art gallery and uh, large format printing business, has given me the uh, opportunity to get out and do as much landscape photography as I can. And, um, yeah, watching all of these um, YouTube guys have far-flung adventures um, is very inspirational. You've got the likes of True Blue Travellers, um, Mispronounced Adventures, uh, Our Van Norman, uh, Norwegian Explorer, all wonderful YouTube channels. Um, 
and they give so much information and inspiration so that's why I'm planning a, uh, a Norwegian trip next year from the from the 1st of February, fingers crossed, but uh, yeah, I'll put all the links to the, the uh, channels below um, and you'll definitely find them interesting. So yeah, that's it really. I just wanted to show you what I've been doing in the meantime and hopefully get back to some photography videos very soon. But I think this is an easy way of uh, getting some good insulation in your van. Um, for fairly cheap, it's just a, a bit of a, a sewing and the, the Snug Pack XL blankets, which are about, well, I think they were 33 quid each on eBay. Uh, and I bought two, which was enough to do the rear aperture and the, uh, uh, the cabin divider. So I think that's gonna work really well. I need to buy another one to do the sliding door, but, uh, and then that will give me good heat retention. So I'm very pleased with that. Anyway. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and if you enjoyed the video then please um, like and subscribe. Any comments or any questions then um, fire away, I'll be only too glad to uh, answer. Thanks again, talk to you soon.